Hello everybody, welcome back to more Farewell to Arms. Enter the Gungeon. Let's roll our eight-sided die on our app over here. We got ourselves a five. Sounded to sound like a song there. So we, one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's been a hot moment since we've played as the pilot, I feel. So let's give it a swing. Should we make things? Now nah, let's, let's just stick to a normal old run. That, that robot one. I think it's got me stressed for the next uh, next five weeks. Should we go with a... Nah. Yeah, I feel like we have not played as the pilot since we unlocked his weapon, now that I think about it. Been a hot second, been a hot second indeed. So hopefully, we get ourselves a nice old run. Pilot is one of those characters where he's... Like, a as a plain character... The stuff he starts off with isn't that, like, that wild or, or strong, but it allows him to become strong later. He's one of the few characters that his power comes from, like, stuff that you don't start with, like, mo more than others. Marine, in a sense, you, you get the buff to fire rate and charge rate and things of that nature. So in a way, like, yeah, all your guns that you get in the future are strong. But it's also, it does help him out right away. He gets the supply drop. Uh, but other than that, it's just like, the the hunter has the nice consumables. Just over the course of the run, gets the nice consumables. And her floor one is nice and smooth with her secondary weapon. It's here, Here's the thing. It's been a long time since we've gone, like, a, a full in-depth. Here you go. For all the brand new people wondering, like, what is really... The difference between the starting characters ever since farewell to arms we haven't done the full shebang convict is kind of just like she has some nice things to help her out right away the maltov is probably probably the most effective active item out of any of the characters i'd say right no and coolant maybe coolant on robot but she is very much like an up close and personal she might be good if you find yourself getting hit quite a bit and you want to utilize that damage upgrade but it's just like it's not really that that big of a deal the damage up the this the shotgun is it's usable on the first floor not really after that but it's she's fine like she, i find her to be probably one of the less good characters other than that yeah there's the marine he starts off, he's kind of just like the jack of all trades. I think he's a good beginner character because you do get the extra hit, which can be valuable for a new player. You also, every single gun you get is going to be a little bit better because of his training passive and an ammo drop in case you are sloppy with your with your ammo. It just all of it lends it to being like a pretty nice starter character per se. Huntress. We're doing a full shebang for the whole first floor here. Huntress. She starts out with the crossbow and the dog. The dog helps her clean, get, uh, cleanly get more consumables. Over the course of the run, he's almost definitely gonna dig you up a key or so. So she, in a way, she, she might even get more chests opened from the key she gets from her dogs than Pilot gets from his lockpick, which is, in my opinion, my like thing that I care the least about the pilot like, is, is his lockpick. I think it's... I could... For the most part, I couldn't care less. But it is a thing. Uh, other than that, yeah, the pilot. He, he's got two active slots. He gets a little bit more ammo in every single one of his weapons. And then he also gets the lockpick. And he gets a shop discount. So all of that lends his, him to being like more of a uh, get good over time kind of guy. You can get two spacebar items and a lot of coolness, and you can effectively, like, really have a an amazing time by inherently automatically getting two active item slots. That being said, he is, you know, he's a little bit more dependent on making sure you get those things. He's more likely to be able to go to the secret floor because of his ability to lockpick the, the sewer grate. You could lockpick one. Like, that's probably what I'm going to do right here is I'll lockpick. If I get it, I'll go to the sewers. If I don't, I won't. But other than that, yeah, he's, he's very much in overtime. Like, the increased ammo capacity thing is really, really handy and often overlooked with him. God, this is not an up-close boss. Not an up-close boss at all. Other than that, 
secret characters. Let's, let's do the whole shebang. Whole suite. Oh. That's, uh, that's nice. That's coolness right there. That's part of our ingredient for... One of our ingredients for recipe for success right here. Broccoli is an amazing get. All right. All right, all right, all right. You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling that we are going to try to lockpick one. Yeah, we could try to lockpick two, but like... Going for a 50-50 is better than going for like, what, is it a one in, one in four? Because, you know, if you, if you fail, you, don't, you can't do it at all, so I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so there we go. We, we locked that in for ourselves. Instead, we are going to get ourselves more coolness, and we're going to get ourselves a mustache. This is so strange. Doesn't the mustache give you something else as well? Let me check the Rito scale real quick. R-E-T-O scale.com. Gotta say it every time. Mustache. I don't rate it very highly. But I feel like... It, uh, somebody said it did something else. Nope. Heals... Has a 50% chance to heal the player for half a heart upon purchasing an item. When do I find this item, like, valuable? Uh, when trying to cheese vampire inflation. That's about it. But let's finish the, uh... Let's finish our character review real quick, why don't we? Uh, Bullet, he is, he is effectively just Blasphemy. Like, he gets the contact immunity, which is nice because he has Blasphemy, lets you get up at close and personal. But for the most part, the boy is his weapon, and that's really it. But the thing is, that weapon is so crazy, as you could have seen from last run. The weapon is so insane, you can carry it with you for, for eons. And it'll stay valuable. Don't even matter. Don't even matter one bit. But it's it alone is really enough to make him super, super strong. Robot is probably the best character for someone who is really familiar with the game. A 50% accuracy up is a really big deal. Immunity to electricity is something. Coolant is not a bad starting active. Like I said, it's probably the best. Maybe? Probably the best? Ooh, this is that was an amazing payout. Probably the best. And other than that, let's see what else he got. The he has the downside, obviously, of the health thing, but that it's it's a pretty big downside. It's a pretty big downside, especially if you're newer to the game, but other than that, uh, the ability to turn chests into damage ups with junk is a big deal as well. Um and his starting weapon is the most consistently good out of any. Except maybe the Gunslinger. Maybe the Gunslinger. Because I don't know too much about th them yet. But, yep. So other than that, let's, we'll round it out by saying my first impressions of Paradox and the Gunslinger. Paradox does seem like a nice character all around on average. You can't really rate the character it's random but the fact is that it does pull from a pool a very large pool and it doesn't have to be like the items that you can get don't have to be starter quality they can you can get riddle of lead to start out with so i on average i rate him higher than bullet but maybe lower than paradox because paradox is broken as hell just the the synergy on every gun thing it's a really big deal it's pretty wacky good single-handedly outstanding that being said i don't know maybe you could maybe you could get a run stronger with paradox i don't know what it would be you could here's the thing you could start maybe you could start with the uh the lich's eye bullets with paradox maybe that would make it stronger then oh my god this is a challenge for me because i kind of want to i could go to the rat and we could we could break this run very easily. We could very easily break this run with cigarettes and the rat items. This run is just a joke then. Hmm. It's not it, the thing is it's we're setting up for a really strong run anyways though. So I don't know if we do we need it? Not necessarily. Probably not going to go for that. Can't get much more disappointing than that. I guess it could have exploded.
Bip bap. Oh, didn't open that door. I don't know, I think I want to do the rat key. It's still 115, doesn't matter about our discount. I do want to do Sinner Grace too, is the thing. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna try to lockpick that, open the blue. Afterwards, I suppose. The slowdown is going to happen a lot on this fight because the ads do explode as well. Hey, got it! Thankfully, there is a pretty big cooldown on it because otherwise, it would be slow stuff. But we can use it to, like, get... Oh, up close and personal. hey -o. Rad. That's an extra coolness up. See, we are just... And we got the sunglasses, so we got the extra, extra coolness up. We are setting ourselves up for a very a cool run. That's annoying. I could have used the key, but... Okay. Okay. Alright, how much is cigarettes? You know what? I think we have a more interesting run here without the rat. I shouldn't have done that, though. I shouldn't have bought the jacket. I think that we are going to have a just as fun of a run skipping that. How much was this? Aw, oh, man. I don't think I should have got the jacket. I, I don't... It's placebo for the most part on how valuable it truly is the real the only real value i find in full metal jacket is on bosses saving yourself for um oh my god i forgot to do the cigarette thing stupid it's okay we'll be fine not too worried look at that with the slowdown the synergy we got here makes it so it's I mean, you can probably tell. The uh, rad gun is easier to get the active reload on. It's a pretty big deal. Oh, wow. Well. Oh. Might even one-shot you. Yep, one-shots you. One-shots that guy, even though he's got the full damage. As soon as we get to the shop, we will do our cigarette cheese then, because we do have the mustache. We can pro or probably have a really easy uh, cheese session with that. Get a lot of extra coolness, then we can keep ourselves at maximum ammo capacity. For sure. I mean, hopefully we can get another item to, to cheese it with, because coolness does... Okay. I'm probably going back a little bit too far here. A lot of people probably know this by now. Coolness does make it so... You are more likely to get items at the end of the room, and it also makes it so your active items activate faster. You, The cooldown is lower, effectively. Whoop, whoop. So I would like... The reason why the rad is OP for the pilot is because you can get a lot of coolness, and you can get invincibility from the Pac-Man item. And you get the freebie of getting the, um, the whatchamacallit, the rat sack as well. Any run you go to the rat is effectively OP, though. Have I been hit? I feel like I must have, right? We're gonna get technically... We're gonna take damage when we do this cigarette stuff, but... The cigaroonies. Hey, battery bullets. I'll take those, I think. We did use our blanks up. So, getting pretty good value here because of that. 42? Okay. I, I don't know that I should have done that, though. Still, maybe not worth the money. It's hard to say. Hard to say. We do have a crazy good discount, though. Jeez. 
You didn't die? Do we switch our weapons? We could try to use the slow-mo explosion to our advantage, too, even. Oh, man, whack. Whack. It does actually make the gun a little bit worse if you are trying to fill it up on the fly, like do the active reload on the fly, like in a boss or something, to have this synergy, but for the most part, if you lose your active reload on this gun, it, that's typically the time. You, this is this is setting up for a really me me run, a me 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 run. So now the health on the ground, either always or has a chance to, um, wow, give us twice as much health, or more like uh, the half hearts can give us a full heart. And I think maybe the full hearts can give us a full heart and a half. That is really good. We could buy a blank for that, but honestly, not over battery bullets when we have a gun zing. No, thank you. We want to do this slowly. We're going to be hitting the damage cap for sure. Oh, hell. One of the few bosses where we can do this and not really waste a lot of time. As long as I'm comfortable splitting my attention. Okay. Got him. Get him, got him good. Ah. Oh, that was bad. Let's go crazy. Can you... You can't, right? Double check and make sure there's nothing I... Nothing I wanted to steal there. Let's be wild. Born to be wild. We should have a pretty crazy run ahead of us now. We should be getting our invincibility back like crazy. If we get the ice cube, this run is unstoppable. Like, if we get the ice cube, this run is broken. Like, actually. We are in a, uh, a bit of an intrepid situation here not the not the best spot for a little while so we should be electric immune thank goodness Whoop. whack thing is we do have an amazing secondary in gunzang Yeah, battery bullets. They're they're much better now. They used to be so so stinky. They used to in fact in their original form they just used to electrocute water. Back then Robot was uh he had not that much going for him. Not that much going for him. I think he's always had the junk thing. He always has had obviously the health thing. He had coolant. So you would electrocute the coolant. And I'm pretty sure you just had built in uh, electricity immunity. But it wasn't part of battery bullets. And then they made it part of battery bullets. I'm pretty sure that's how the, the saga went. Welcome back to Rio's History Hour. Oh hell. We don't have any liquid. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Lockpick could have could have done it there, but it it was uh, 0 for two for us. 0 for two for us on this run. Like it can be good. Oh, that 
Battery bullet. I, no, not only battery bullets, remote bullets. I got way more excited about battery bullets than I should have, because I just forgot completely that we had remote bullets. Oh my god. Battery bullets are a little redundant on this run. They have value, but they're a little redundant. Not yet. Woo, baby! Forgot that we did not... I thought we skipped the remote bullet. I forgot about that shot. Part of me still thinks that we are on our making our way over to the rat. That ain't happening. You know what? Let's uh, let's go to the RNG department, though. We got a pretty broken run. If we find something worth buying in the shop, we are in an amazing spot for health again, like immediately. Just like that. Oh. Sunglasses is when it really gets broken. When them bullets get sunglasses, you know you're in for it. Nope. Where is our shop, though? Okay. Vampire? <laughs> I did a little too late. A little too late to be excited about the vampire, don't you think? I mean, we might as well do it once. We get extra money, and we get the chance to get... Oh my god, what a payout. What a freaking payout. Here, give me money to buy a shield. We might even... We got a full heart from that. Here, give me money to buy the crossbow. We got a full heart from that. This is stupid. That's stupid. I love it. Definitely a broken run. Two items that have worked together to that are normally like kind of antibody I find is pretty nice. Like you can you can get value out of it pretty easily. The uh the mustache I have some Oh my god! Bloody nine millimeter, why? Why? Remote bullets are actually not even good for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. I am so glad that I messed that up because that is crazy. What an amazing get. Whoop. This should be a freebie for sure. Wasn't going to break them at the same time. I kind of knew that. But like I always say, kill pillars is the boss you want to get on a run that's OP. Because you can kill them like four times as fast. All right. We'll go. What do we even throw away this run? I mean, we can throw away this. At this point, we can probably throw away the mustache. I think it can be swung just fine. Should we do this? Yeah. Let's do it a couple times. Get enough money to buy something from the blacksmith. Not that it really matters. We're not going to get the mustache heal anymore. And we have the ability to steal. Oh well. I didn't think about it that hard. But I'm not worried about it. This run is a uh, smooth sailing. Easy peasy. We officially got piloted. <clears throat> As they say. 
pilot getting like I always get cigarettes on a pilot run. I always get coolness on a pilot run. It just always happens. Almost always happens. It seems more likely for sure. It's wacky, wacky, wacky. Does wacky come from the word whack? Hold on. Wow, that is wacky. So I feel like I feel like whack and wacky are for two completely different purposes. Even though they're I mean they're, they're close though. They're close. How do you survive that? We haven't really been using our infinite ammo shebang. I think it's more of a uh, use on guns and kind of thing, but we have crazy amounts of coolness now, so it like doesn't even matter. We haven't used our invincibility once. Let's use it. Because quite frankly, I just haven't even needed it. And it's already at half. That is wacky, wacky indeed. We'll go to the boss, we'll throw down the magazine rack and just stand still. And now we are invincible and have infinite ammo. Sucks to be you, loser. Now even if we do get hit here, not that big of a deal. We can block one hit. Block that hit there. Just wait. Invincible. And there we go. That is a uh, typical pilot run for you. Isn't it not? Isn't it not? Jetpack. Hilarious. I'm sure there's something we could do with it. What is this synergy? Hardwood. Oh, it makes it so all of the shots are the explosive thing. It can be good with this. It might even be worth using. We do get the slow-mo explosion. Eh. If all three of them don't together don't one-shot the guy... Eh. I, we've got better things. Got much better things. <laughs> Whatever. I, I could, I could care less at this point. We just, this run is such a freebie. This ain't gonna be the one your boy loses. Why is that not killing? I mean, at the same time, Rito's Law, I think it's like Rito's first law, I can't remember. it might be the first one, is that the stronger the run, the more likely you are to, to choke. Because it's like, yep, look at that. Because the more likely, the, the stronger you are, the more likely you are to feel like you don't need to pay attention. And if you feel like you're not having to pay attention, then you're going to get hit more. It just is math. We haven't answered any Discord questions yet today. Let me let me append that real quick here. Why did you big boy big boy foo asks, why did you pick up Enter the Gungeon? You obviously regret it, so yeah, I absolutely worst decision I made of my whoops my life. Holy moly. I mean honestly I picked it up because like I've been I'd been doing YouTube at that point I I switched to be like largely rogue-likeish at that at that point. The time I saw the trailer, I think what, what was that like? Uh, outrageously late 2014 or early 2015. The trailer came out like, and I saw it, and it just immediately clicked with me that I I knew it was gonna be a big deal. Like, I knew that there was a there's like a a fledging fledgling community of roguelike YouTube people at that time 
that were like starting to starting to get big starting to get like really you know by an indie game indie game youtube perspective they were getting quite big and i was just like i this is gonna be very large like i can tell guaranteed so i just i don't know i the the, tr the trailer sat with me the dodge roll mechanic seemed nice and fluid it seemed like a it seemed like a binding of isaac mixed with a little bit of extra ooh, pizzazz i don't know like it just it seemed like it had a little extra for that spoke to me i, I like the art style a lot the whole concept of a like find the gun that can kill the past the bullet that can kill the past that that immediately got me interested as well. I think that was in the, the first trailer. They're like, and find the gun that can kill your past. And it just the the way the trailer presented the humor and everything. It's just I could I could tell it was gonna be a banger of the highest order. Oh, interesting. Okay, well we'll get stout bullets too. This run is stacked. This run is stacked. Yesterday's my my pace was really good, but today this run is just wacky pace. It's just it's unheard of like not unheard of, but uh, We went to the sewers today, didn't we? No, we didn't go to the sewers. That's why that's why We went to the RNG department we didn't go to the sewers We were considering going to the rat because it just makes sense on a pilot run to me to go to the rat Whoop! Shouldn't have done it so early. But I'm not worried. Gotta get that curse up. Gotta get the curse up so we can get the curse bullets up. I know we could have waited and actually just purchased that, but... Once again, saying of the episode, I ain't worried. Look at us. This is gonna be doing some pretty wacky damage. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to see it on a boss. Chaff grenade, we could use it to steal again, I guess. I'm not worried. Alright. All right, keep down that magazine rack as much as we can there. Hup. Watching the ring, watching the ring. Yep. Not a problem. We got an amazing boss killing run. We do have to dodge this attack. Oh man. You can only have one magazine rack down at the same time. Good to know. Wow. It's strong. So we're going to be able to throw magazine rack out once more. We could even go invincible here. But I'm actually going to wait and try to save that so we can steal another thing to get higher curse and therefore higher damage. I, I, it's pretty much one of the most straightforward one cycles. Anyway, Claw 038 in the Discord asks, "Do you think that Eden is better than Paradox?" Uh, if you're talking like the Binding of Isaac's version of the character versus this version, I would say, I would say, yeah, I do think it is better because it it doesn't just randomize the items; it randomizes all the stats for a more R actually true random experience so yeah i i'm a little uh i'm a little bummed about that i i was hoping that it would randomize the the stats and they'd get a little bit a little bit more wacky with it a little bit more like allowing less health or just some inherent stats ups and downs something like that I was indeed, I was indeed hoping for that. So, yeah, I think that the Ian character in Isaac is a little bit better. Not, not like, 
extraordinarily so it doesn't make that big of a difference but it's kind of just if i were to have changed a thing about the updates without like doing any major tweak yeah i would have made it so at the very least paradox could have started out with different levels of health consumables money and if i was i honestly i would well prefer different stats as well but i understand that one not being in because it's a little bit you can't convey it very clearly with the current things in place. So, I, I can understand that. But, oh well. Like, just different things like curse and all the all the stuff that's in the Isaac Game Modes mod. The Kyle, Kyle the Scientist got Isaac Game Modes mods that I, I will probably just go back to using, to, to be quite frank. Just to have the true, true randomized elements back at it. At some point soon. Because being able to... it Does it suck sometimes to start out in a run where you got one heart? Yeah. But when you're like me and dying is a very infrequent occurrence at this point. Like, it's so, so rare. Like, I gotta be doing real bad. I, like, I, got, I got to be feeling mentally bad for it to happen. So, in that case, like, it, it's kind of nice to throw the extra added quirk of having an awful start. Or having a run that uh, makes you think, maybe maybe I should switch things up and pick a, pick this item instead. Because we did start with X. So, it is better this today than it would be on a normal run. Like, that excites me. The, the fact that, you know, you could have a run where an item that normally isn't that exciting is more exciting. Because you have, like, a crazy amount of accuracy up, so Crown of Guns is, is an insta-win. Or you have a crazy... you're crazy slow, so maybe you'll even consider picking up Jetpack. Or something like that. That being said, Jetpack is... it's not garbage, it's just... I don't really like it. For the most part. So yeah, I in summation, yes I do. <laughs> the end. This run is on autopilot, so I'm not really. That's why you know we could we could talk about the uh, my thought process on every little room here, but uh, honestly my thought process is hold down left mouse button. If I feel like it, I can be invincible. That's kind of where I'm at. But yeah, pilot pretty wacky if you can if you can afford to uh, sacrifice health and you get cigarettes and you feel comfortable using to man like juggling two different active items then he becomes a really strong character for beginners eh, maybe it's maybe it's not the best hello damage cap I see you there Oh, <laughs> that actually scared me. That actually scared me. Probably wasting this right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Should be pretty smooth. Bada bing, bada boom. Should be pretty smooth. Oh. And that's Full Metal Jacket. I forget this thing has to actually reload. We are going to leave this fight with full health. Full Metal Jacket guarantees that. Full Metal Jacket is essentially just, like, insurance that you will use your blanks. <laughs> that's that's it. If you're pretty darn good at using your blanks anyways, it's garbage. It's garbage. But it has some value. Just not as much as a lot of people seem to think. I, in my opinion. In my opinion. 
Bow. That is a dead Lich once more. Bop him and move on. Holy freaking guacamole. That is gonna do it for today. Remember to subscribe to the channel for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Join the Discord link in the description if you want to have a question answered in the video or if you just want to talk about Enter the Gungeon or my channel or anything. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Retromation to catch me streaming Enter the Gungeon or more live. Wow, look at this run. This is stupid. That was Lead God. We did just throw away our, our thing. This is so dumb. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at all that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate any all support we should leave on the series up to this point. Thank you. Thank you. See ya uh, next time.